Hello, I'm Barry Schmaltz. The show? Just vamps. And nothing but. Just vamps there. Oh yeah. I always smile when this one comes up. This is my personal vamp. In case you haven't remembered, this one's very personal to me. I use this when I'm in a jaunty mood, when I'm feeling good, when I'm walking places, when I'm seeing people, when I'm saying, hey, how you doing there? And they say, hey, we're doing great. And how are you doing there too? And I say, fantastic. And we always smile, all the time. It doesn't mean this isn't a good vamp, or that you shouldn't enjoy it when you hear it. Because hearing things and enjoying them, you can't help it, they all go together. Because your chemistry there, that's the way it's gotta be. You know, you're wired up to enjoy stuff. That's why if you don't enjoy stuff, you're probably wired up a little screwy. Anyway, if you don't enjoy me, then you got something wrong with you because this is very, very entertaining here. I'm gonna try to fix my cuffs here. I didn't do a very good job of cuffing my uh, thing here. In my world that I come from, culturally, it's very stylish to cuff your uh, sleeve there. But it's also rude to stop playing a jaunty vamp there you're playing it, as long as you keep the rhythm there, it's all right. But it's also unhip to be stylish, I lose points, you know. And there, and I'll do a little shoulder thing there, a little twitch, scratch an itch, make it right in time. There, that's easy points, that's what we call them. Oh, so easy, and you know, and you're sort of earning credits there, so everybody's good and happy, they won't throw you into a prison, even though we don't have them. They'll just sort of take you and you'll disappear. I shouldn't be singing these things, and I shouldn't be talking about the stuff that I'm doing there, and I certainly shouldn't be talking about a totalitarian universe in such a happy, jaunty way. Okay, so I'm sorry, I apologize. Hats on for me is overstepping my bounds and not being cool about it because we're supposed to be quiet and happy. We really should be happy if we can. But uh, dissent is always a good thing too and social philosophy and asking questions and complaining. So we can't say that we don't want it even though it's annoying to listen to and maybe people should shut up a little. The problem is there are too many people. Anyway, we talk about stuff too much when we should just be vamping and I'm trying to have a good time, a good vamp here, a vamping good time as they say, a vamping good time. That's sort of like a thing, it's an adjective. It's vamping, oh yeah, he's vamping clever there, that guy. Oh, I'm vamping kidding about that there. I suppose it substitutes for a variety of other ways of interjecting. But, uh, yo, are you vamping kidding me? Go vamp yourself. There's all sorts of ways that you can say this. So we're just, just vamps here. Just vamps. Just vamping vamps there. And it's a verb too. Vamping vamps. And we're vamping vamps, those vamping vamps. We're vamping those vamping vamps, if you know what I'm saying there. Without trying to be rude, because we're trying to be nice. We're not trying to be lewd. We're not saying it twice. And we're not trying to sing on key, because that would be, uh, that would be what you would see for me to be the thing that goes from me to thee. There. So you see, it's terrible to make these things up at a high speed when you can't think of the rhymes or do any of the stuff. Also, in this universe, you have a different measure of values. And uh, I appreciate that, but I feel like a visitor more and more. So I don't mourn my uh, demise if it ever comes. It won't be a demise, it's just sort of so long for a while. And I'm feeling, you know, I feel the winds blowing there. And I'm being jaunty. And I'm being all happy. Yeah, actually, yeah. I love this one here. But uh, I gotta trust it. It'll come up again. Hats off to trusting. Trusting that things will come up again. Because they will. And they will. They go around and around and around again, yeah. Just like a vamp. Gonna sort of leave it right there, hanging, hanging in space there, inconclusively, leaving this vamp Mysterioso style. We're gonna come into the next vamp on the next session that we do. We're gonna play the Mysterioso vamp, starting on the D flat. Well, just remember that it's a very beautiful key, and uh, in that way, we will keep it going as long as possible with transitions that make sense from one to the other.
Barry Smaltz here, growing a little fatigued, but only existentially, realizing as I view the universe and my place in it, that I not necessarily I am not necessarily the wisest version of myself, as it were. I can feel the weight of all probability on my shoulders, and the time will grow near when I will play the goodbye vamp. And that's a very beautiful vamp, and it's moving, and it'll make you say goodbye, and it'll make you cry, and you'll say why, and I'll say, I don't know, but I'll think of a rhyme for it, and when I do, I'll say it then. But until then, I am not playing the goodbye vamp just yet, but I will, but not yet. Right now, it's still just vamps, and it's Barry Smaltz, for you, Barry Smaltz, just vamps. Vamp is vamp and 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 vamp